Hey YouTube, how y'all doing today? B Gamer here, and I got a clip for y'all. We'll call this one Clip Tuesday. And I'ma hop right into it to show y'all this clip. I call it Crunch, cause my guy in crunch time just didn't come up clutch. And I want you guys to just see this clip. Rolling right now. My opponent. Is Dan Marino. I'm the other Cowboys. I'm right there. I'm in the blue. I'm in the blue. I wish I could just keep putting this play on repeat. I wish I could just continue to put this on repeat because I made all the adjustments to want the interception and EA has the outcome that they want in the game. This is in my Super Bowl, you know, for the win. You know, I'd have been in like four Super Bowls the last two weeks and I only won one. But that's my biggest gripe with this whole play. The timing of EA and the randomness, man. I clicked on to intercept the ball and they made me swap. It. I clicked on to try to intercept the ball and they made me swap the ball. So my question to EA is, is this. Why so much randomness in this game? Why do you put so much randomness into this game? I don't understand. The community don't understand. We just would never probably get answers from EA. But if I could have showed you guys this whole game, if y'all go to my page and check the whole game out, it's like maybe uh, 17 to 18 minutes long. It was a no. It's 22 minutes long. My our Super Bowl, Super Bowl I played in this game right here. As a matter of fact, and it was a great game. I was in the red zone like three times, right? And I came away with like. I made a bad decision on one of those times. Bad throw. He picked me off. But it's a couple of times in that in that sequence when I was in the red zone. I threw to my guys in the end zone and they stepped out. Their feet just went out of bounds like with none of my control when I'm possession kitchen. The ball. And, you know, when other people just get away with things, it, it's so much stuff in this game. I wish you guys checked that game out in the Super Bowl. Man, it's, it's, it's just, it makes you just wonder. And then I threw interceptions that my opponent, he, he received from EA, you know? So I'm like, at the clutch, clutch time, I probably could have, it's 3 minutes and 55 seconds left on the clock in the fourth quarter. So if I would have intercepted that ball, it changed the whole complexion of the game. I can't tell y'all how it finished. I want y'all to watch it. But my opponent, the game would have been over. Like, I would have probably just milked the clock. But never say over in Madden because you never know. My opponent probably still would have won. Who knows? But I would have had a better shot at winning the game if Deion Sanders would have came up with the interception right here. I made the adjustment. I put him in like a 10-yard. A I put him in a 10-yard purple, purple zone. Because my opponent, what he kept doing, he kept running the same PA camera go play. He kept running, which his man would go right there. His man would go to the to the side of the screen, and he would try to play, make him up. But I knew he wanted to keep going to that side, so I kept on kept on making adjustments. And I finally felt like I made the right adjustment at the right time, and I got punished by EA for it. It bit me in the butt later on in the game, you know? And it makes you feel so bad because it's like, EA will make you throw the wildest interceptions at linemen catching the ball off the off your foot. The ball hitting off somebody grabbing and linemen catching it for an interception. But I got a DB right there with probably like 90 some catching. And he's jumping up, swatting the ball randomly. When I'm clicking on, mashing Y, trying to intercept the ball. I clicked on the EA blatantly made me swat the ball. My opponent got another chance and got the first down, of course. But that's Clip Tuesday, y'all. Hey, that's that. That's just my gripe. You know, I got some good plays I'm going to start showing y'all, too. It ain't always all bad. But sometimes in Madden 22 Next Gen, you just wonder, what the hell is going on with EA, man? Like, why, why, why? And you just have to just turn the game off to just cool off sometime, man, because the randomness is at an all-time high with EA, man, with this game. And... I don't understand. The community of Madden players don't understand. Hey, man, it's just like 
it's a wild goose chase with EA, man. Like, you'll never get answers from them. The game is just all random. And I'll let y'all see it again. Make the perfect adjustments and you get punished by a SWAT animation instead of letting me intercept the ball and click on to intercept. But hey, that's all I got for y'all today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Hey, like and subscribe and share the videos, you know? You guys got the capability of being good Madden players, you know. I'm okay. I get I, I'm an okay player. I know you guys like to watch tips and strategies, but it's good to go in the lab and, and get in the battlefield and just play. You'll learn a lot of things. You know. I've learned a lot of things. Like I don't I don't have the the metal for stopping bunch, but I'm really, really close. I'm really, really close to like slowing it down just just a tad. I've been getting in the lab and I've been putting different zones out there trying to slow it down. I'm getting there. But if you guys want to be better man players, man, y'all just get out there and play. I know y'all want to watch other people play and y'all learn from others and me, me. I learn from other people as well. But it's good for you guys to just learn yourself. Try to play the game yourself and you'll get better at it, I promise you. Hey, with that being said, be gamer here and now I'm out. Peace.